Um, all I know is about six minutes later, the ambulance came and they hooked me up. All these things that they didn't take over that practically scared the you know what out of me later when I tried to, when I found them and I tried to pull them off and didn't know what they were. So uh, anyway, we got nowhere. They shocked me three times with no help. Um, fortunately, one of the young men knew something called a diaphragm press that he had learned, I, I learned later, at a place called Marietta Hot Springs in um, California with the Alive Polarity Group. And so, just like Mother Teresa had taught her nuns, he put his left hand coming from the right side of me, on my left, uh, right ab actually above my uh, forehead, and his right hand, he pushed up just below my diaphragm. And that didn't work either, so he took his fist and he just drove it up into my diaphragm, and I went <gasps> like that, and I started to breathe again. So if ever you find somebody in a situation like that and they can't breathe, a lot of times you do not have to touch them, but this time you have to make sure that it is in the soft part and you miss the floating ribs, but you just ball your fist up and drive it right in the soft part and up. And if your left hand is on their head, that will bring them back. So they got me in the ambulance. My my heart stopped about three times on the way to the hospital again. Um, someone called my sons. I had three sons at that time. One has since deceased. Uh, bless their hearts, they all went to different hospitals. <laughs> the one son who did get to the hospital, he didn't know what in the world was going on. He said, Mom, you look like you're dying, you're gray. I said, I am, because they, at that time, I was salt free, and they had me hooked up to saline, which you know is salt and water. And all my capillaries were just shutting down from the feet up. You always die from the feet up. And um, I said, Brent, will you please, you don't know what I'm going to tell you to do, but will you take your thumb and your forefinger and just put it on my big toe? He said, sure, Mom, <laughs> anything. So we did that, and about five minutes later, we were chatting away, and he said, the, your color's coming back to you. So again, I'm in a teaching mode now. If you ever find somebody who's looking a little gray, grab a hold of their big toes with your thumb and your forefinger underneath, and you will share energy with them. You will bring them back. So... The doctor didn't want to let me out of the hospital. He thought I was going to die after what had happened to me because I refused all the other medication. And um, I had to sign a piece of paper that my son, if I died, my son would not sue them. So we finally got out of there. They had to literally tie me to a wheelchair because I was like a wet noodle. I just wanted to slide out of everything. They got me on the back seat of the car. I just slid off the back seat and they had, one of them had to stay back there with me. Coming to full circle, there was a lady named Cora Winkler who collected herbs for Rolling Thunder. And she didn't want me in her house either. She said, no, no, he's gonna die. She was full of fear. She had just been eating chips. See, anything that you eat that's dead, pulls you down into fear right here again. You have got to keep that energy up when you're working around people who you need shelter from. So I said, never mind, men, just take me to the backyard. <clears throat> well, there was this wonderful pine tree in the backyard. And my eldest son, Mason, he turned me over three times a day like I was his baby. And he fed me this 
simple food that's called energy soup that I learned from a wonderful doctor named Ann Wigmore that I, I was working with for 22 years up in Boston and down in Puerto Rico. And she is the mother of the um, wheatgrass movement. This has nothing to do with the Hippocrates West Palm Beach in, in, uh, in Florida. Um, it's basically 50 uh, a blender that is 50% full of a wonderful fruit like papaya, non-citrus, and the other half is a wonderful uh, dark green leafy baby vegetable like sunflower greens about seven inches tall seven days this is the masculine energy that people need when they really need to get up and going again so my son we reversed roles he he nurtured me and I learned how to get up on all fours. I learned how to crawl. I learned how to crawl over to that tree, that pine tree. I inched my way up and turned around and was there <clears throat> probably for hours just feeling what it could give to me. I remembered my boss's book of Why Suffer? Be Your Own Doctor, uh, Ann Wigmore, where she had had the same experience. Um, since then, I almost had my right foot cut off because the doctor said I had gangrene and blood poisoning, and I did the same thing that she did. I ate nothing but food that carried an electric current, and um, I still have my right foot. And the doctor was just totally amazed, all right? But this, it's the same thing over and over and over again. Every time that we need to regenerate cells, the only thing that we must have is food that has an electric current in it. That's the only thing that's going to save us. Eating that peacefully, mm -hmm. with reverence, and knowing that it's sharing its life force with us. Um, I've taken a vow of nonviolence in thought, word, and deed, and I've also taken a vow never to charge for my services as a physician. So I'm down in um, deep south Miami Day in Homestead in Florida City. I normally am not up here, even though I love this area. But all I can tell you is that the tree that we were sitting under this afternoon is precious for this this whole Choices Cafe. If you want to feel a real difference, go sit underneath that tree because it is sharing its energy with us. Um, any tree that you have in your yard, if you don't have any, plant one. Um, trees are, are giving, living help to us. Plants, grass, everything like that that's, that has chlorophyll in it is something that we need so much to commune with and every day. Um, because of all the dogs and cats around here, I wouldn't recommend going barefooted on the grass, but if you can go out to the beach, that's a, a better place to walk barefooted. But just get connected with Mother Earth and um, Thank you so much for, for being one of the beautiful, sensitive people that I know and um, that I feel so comfortable with. And uh, thank you very much for letting me share this with you all. All right, very inspiring story. And we like to hear that. So keep in mind that open mic isn't just for people who sing and do poetry. You can just come up and tell your story or whatever you want. So this is every Saturday, Acoustic Open Mic. Uh, in a few Saturdays on May 6th, we're going to have a benefit for Earth Save. And I'm sure you know about that. We have a Miami chapter that meets the last Saturday of every month and a Broward chapter the last Friday of every month. Sometimes we have to adjust that, right? 
Wait, I took somebody's tea, sorry. <laughs> 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 